Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up so that we create more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Now, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is the shape that we have and we want to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis. Now, we have already solved the centroid for this problem. If you haven't seen that problem yet, I recommend that you do and I will leave the link above there in case you guys want to check it out. Now, for this problem, so what we're trying to do here is find the moment of inertia about the x-axis. For the rectangle, that's going to be easy because the rectangle is already on the y and the x coordinate system. So we can just grab the equation from the tables on the reference manual and then just plug in. But for the circle, we can't really do that because the circle is not right on the x-axis. It's 1.5 inches above the x-axis and so what we need to do here is use the parallel axis theorem for the circle okay and another thing that you guys need to keep in mind is that here because we have the circle inside the rectangle make sure that you guys subtract when you are applying the moment of inertia equation okay now with this information why don't you guys give this problem a try and i will see you in a little bit Now, before we start solving this problem, if you guys want to see a video on how to find the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on that. So the first thing we're going to do here is let's take a look at the rectangle. So as we discussed, the rectangle is right on the x-axis. So to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis, all we got to do is just grab the equation for the rectangle from the reference manual. So let's go to the reference manual and take a look at the equation that we are giving there. So here, this is the table that we have under static. So at the end of statics, you guys will find these tables. We have centroid, moment of inertia, and and so on. So we're interested in moment of inertia. We want to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis. It's very important, guys, that you differentiate between the centroidal x-axis and then x-axis. So centroidal x-axis would be bh cubed over 12, and that would be around this axis here, about the centroid of the shape. Now, about the x-axis would just be about the x-coordinate, okay? So the equation for the rectangle, we're just going to use bh cubed over 3. Now, keep in mind, guys, that we're not going to use the parallel axis theorem because this rectangle is already right on the x-axis, okay? So let's write the equation down. Now, let's take a look at the circle. So the first thing we got to do is minus because here we have the circle inside the rectangle. The next thing is we're going to have to use the parallel axis theorem because we don't have the circle right on the axis. So if we go to the reference manual, you are giving the equation for the parallel axis theorem. So this is the equation we're going to use. Now, let me write the equation down and then I'm going to go over it with you guys. Now, looking at this equation, guys, what this equation really does, it relates the circle to the x-axis because the circle is not right on the x-axis. And so what we do is that we take the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis, not about the x because it's not on the x-axis. So we take the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis and then we relate the centroid of the circle to the x-axis by using this term of this equation. Okay, so that's how we find the moment of inertia about the x-axis for the circle. Now let's go to the reference manual and grab the equation for the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis for the circle. So this is the equation we're going to use. Note guys here that A is the radius. So make sure that we use the radius here, not the diameter. And then also we need the area for the circle, which is just by A squared or R squared, the radius squared. Okay, so let's write the equations down and then we can start plugging the numbers. So we have bh cubed, so this is going to be b, right? And then this is going to be the height. So we're going to have 11. The height is going to be 7. And then we're going to cube it. We're going to divide it by 3. Then we're going to have minus pi a. So we have the diameter, which is 4. So the radius is just going to be 2. So we're going to do 2 to the power of 4, and then we're going to divide by 4. Minus pi, and then we're going to have 2 squared and then we're going to multiply it by dy squared. So what is dy? So dy is going to be the distance from the centroid of the circle to the x-axis. So that distance is going to be, so we're going to have 1.5 plus 
2, right? Just this distance is the radius, which is 2. So 2 plus 1.5 is just going to be 3.5. And don't forget, guys, to square this term. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 1091. And this is going to have the units of inch to the power of 4. Because that's the unit for moment of inertia. Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be A. So that's it guys for today's video. Now, if you are struggling with statics or if you are looking for more problems on statics, make sure that you guys check out our playlist or you can also check out our statics course. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.